Chapter 6 Robinson Saved Robinson was borne down far, far into the ocean. He attempted to work himself up so that he could see light and breathe air, but again and again the waves carried him down. Finally, a wave threw him up, and he saw, for a moment, the light of day and got a breath of air, but the next instant he was deep under the water. Then another wave bore him on its crest. He breathed a deep breath and at the same time saw land not far away. He bent all his strength toward reaching the land. He got almost to it when a wave caught him and hurled him on a jutting rock. With all his strength, he seized the rock with both hands and held on. Presently, he worked himself up a little and at last got a foothold, but scarcely had he done so when his strength left him and he fell on the ground as one dead. But he soon revived. He opened his eyes and looked around. He saw above him the blue sky, and under him the solid brown earth, and before him the gray angry sea. He felt to see if he still breathed. The storm had destroyed the ship. The waves had overwhelmed the boat. The water wished to draw him into the deep. The rocks seemed to want to hurl him back, but storm and wave and rock had accomplished nothing. There was one who was stronger than they. Then Robinson sank on his knees and folded his hands. Tears came to his eyes. He breathed hard. At last he said, Dear Father in heaven, I live. Thou hast saved me. I thank thee. End of chapter 6